Iran. Coronavirus fatalities surpass 73,200. The MEK announced Sunday that the coronavirus death toll in 346 cities across Iran has passed 73,200. The spokesman for the regime's health ministry said today's state-controlled statistics for the death toll in the past 24 hours is 209, and the number of patients at the intensive care units is 3,556, the highest since the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak. In North Khorasan province, the acting president of the Medical Sciences University said Saturday, some of those infected with the virus die as soon as they reach the emergency. On average, three to six people have lost their lives daily. Global event seeks accountability on Iran's rights violations and 1988 massacre. Prominent international dignitaries joined Iranians from across the globe in an internet conference on Sunday, calling for accountability regarding atrocious human rights violations by the Mullah's regime and the 1988 massacre. The Iranian opposition coalition National Council Resistance of Iran hosted the event in which President-elect of the Iranian resistance Mariam Rajavi was the keynote speaker, seeking justice for ongoing atrocities in Iran. The NCRI alternative is a good yardstick and a mirror image reflecting the struggles and resistance of the past 40 years. The truth fully shows why the regime's demonization and anonymity towards the MEK and terrorism directed against the Iranian resistance is carried out on such an enormous scale and what the objectives behind them are, Ravi said. Free Iran 2020, a monumental achievement in the struggle for freedom. The annual Free Iran Global Summit 2020 meeting of the Iranian resistance was held online on Friday in an exceptional and special circumstances that the coronavirus has imposed on the world, marked a historical event in the political and social history of Iran. Dozens of distinguished personalities who spoke at the event expressed their amazement and admiration that the event was held in 30,000 places in 102 countries of the world, including Iran, where internet access is very limited. The event was attended by 1,000 personalities, political leaders, human rights activists and other countries from around the world. NCRI President-elect Mariam Rajavi delivered a keynote speech in which she addressed the most important political and social issues of Iran and laid out the Iranian resistance's solutions. She said, This summit is the voice of the resistance units and rebellious cities across Iran, who have put an end to the history of despair, incredulity and inaptitude, replacing it with the pledge of we can and we must.